So we're checking out a new mod today that completely changes how power works in Satisfactory. And what's even better is it's over 200% better than any power source we have in the game. So at scale, it's a little broken. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time we got into hyper tubes, did a bunch of base design, and did a ton of work on our Fix Miss Factory. But forget about all of that for today, because we have something super important we need to deal with. And that is... Our power grid. Because although we have a cool power plant that's making us a decent amount of power, it's nowhere near as efficient as some of the mods we have installed. Specifically, modular power generation as part of the refined power mod that adds in a modular way to make power infrastructure. So remember to leave a like and let's rock and roll. Time to switch things up. Milestone reached. Fixit pioneers can now make their own power generation systems for maximum efficiency with the gift of modularity. Several buildings have been added to the build gun for the pioneer to use. All right. So, whole brand new system of power to explore. So in vanilla, you just have your burners and stuff, you have your coal generator, but that's too simple. Just putting coal and water into one machine, bah. We have refined power mod with the better stuff now where we can make a complicated system of heaters, boilers, and turbines in order to make a far more efficient system. That is also very expensive, so let me get a few more materials here. Alrighty, so I've automated the parts we needed, specifically this carbon mesh. We have a little bit of a stockpile of that. We got a little bit of coal, and I went and got a little bit of water from a puddle just over there. So we should have everything we need to mess with this mod. So, we have a biomass heater, heater, boiler, da da da, generator, what do we do? What if we just put one down? What if we had the materials to do so? Amazing! Invalid placement, off to a good start. Modular power platforms. So, I suppose we have to put down these platforms first and then we put these on top? Let's just put things down, let's just YOLO it. Put you down, put the converter platform, and then the cooling platform. There's the main thing that's the boiler. So we have a heater and a boiler. The heater, I presume, heats the boiler? And it's a boiler mark one. Oh, so there's mark twos and stuff, that's cool. So, coal heater. You want to fit on this one, okay, sir. Gotcha. Which one was that again? Boiler platform, oh, oh, wait. Oh. It all makes sense. Oh, and then this sits on top. Okay, so we can replace like heaters with better boilers and all this stuff. Okie dokie. So we put the coal in there, heats up water, obviously. The water would then do what? Steam cooling tower. I guess it gets turned into steam. Let's build the turbine. And then we put the generator on that. Generates 175 megawatts of power. This is a hefty boy. Oh man, we get this up and running. We are in for a treat. Cool. This looks intimidating. What do we do? Okay, it looks even more intimidating. <laughs> it needs high pressure steam and then output. Output's low pressure steam. Okay, this seems relatively simple. So then steam cooling tower. I guess that gets rid of the output. It has to, right? What else would it do? Input. NA. Okay. <laughs> that has to work. It's the only way. Wait a second though, wait a second though. Why, there's an input for this which has to be coal, right? But then there's an output. CO2 chimney. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Would this then go on a cooling platform? It would, okay. Okay, this mod isn't too crazy, isn't too difficult. A lot of machines and a little bit of insanity. That's okay. I don't think I set this up properly in order to get everything connected though. I think we have to move this. There we go, so I just put the little cooling things over there. So everything else should just hook up. So the water to the water. Boom, bop. The water will get heated, turned into steam. The steam goes into the turbine, of course. Turbine powers this, the generator. Oh, and that's the power pole to get the power off of this. Boop. And then this must be the excess steam. Oh, dude, this is like a little like Lego set almost. And the excess steam goes to this thing. 
which is literally just to blow off steam. And then this carbon thing here has to go to that. It's looking like this is ready to go. There's nothing else really that needs to be done, right? We just throw in a little bit of coal and let it rip. Let's take a little bit of coal from the books. And let's see what it does. I'm not sure of any of the ratios on this yet. We'll figure that out in a bit, but oh my god. We'll watch and see what happens first. Temperature. So it has to heat up first. We can turn the sound off? Oh, praise be. <laughs> okay, so it burns coal to heat up. And then this is heating up too. Is it the same rate? It is the same rate. What's the boiling point of water? I don't know. I think we'll just hook up the coal to here though. Because yeah, it's burning a lot of coal to get this thing up and running. Oh, but wait, 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 look at that. The CO2 is being poofed out. Oh, it's building up, you can see the gas. I wonder if in the vanilla game they're ever gonna add gases like this. I bet they will, personally. That's pretty cool. In 88 Celsius? Come on, how is the water not boiling yet? What is this water? It's probably 100, right? Let's go. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, so now the fluid buffer's going down. Oh, and now the generator's running! Oh my gosh, are we already making power? Let's go! Oh, it starts up slowly, and there we go, 175 megawatts! Oh my gosh, that is incredible, actually. For a little bit of coal and a little bit of water, how much water does this take up? It doesn't tell me the consumption. Maybe this is something I'll have to Google, like the consumption rate of the coal and the water. But like overall, that's pretty good, 175 megawatts? It takes up a lot of space, but it's always about the resources used, not about the space. We have plenty of space. Yeah, when this produces like 75 megawatts, this does 100 extra. And even if this system is a little bit more expensive with coal and water than the coal generator, like, bruh, that is a pretty insane ratio to compete with. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay. I've learned some interesting things. I did a live stream and I was talking to my Twitch chat about how this all works, and apparently, things are nuts. The input for this is 20 coal per minute. The 20 coal per minute makes pretty much 75 high pressure steam per minute. And then these turbines here use 25 high, high pressure steam per minute. So yeah, pretty much for 20 coal per minute, we can run three of these generators. Oh yeah, and the boiler takes about 44 water per minute. So yeah, 20 coal per minute, 44 water per minute, can run three of these, three times 175 is 525 megawatts. For 20 coal, 525 megawatts. Compare that to a coal generator. The coal generator takes 45 coal per minute to make 75 megawatts. 45 to 75 this is 20 to 525 like <laughs> this is like geez I can't even do the math the numbers are so high this is so much more efficient it's ridiculous maybe even overpowered but it does take quite a lot of infrastructure to set up but all things considered brother like come on <laughs> that's truly insane so mr. existing coal plant I might have some bad news for you, brother. Oh my god, what was that? What? Oh, the gifts! Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna be messing with our uh, coal power plant here. We might even just straight up abandon it and build another coal plant with this new system right next door. Because the design is absolutely gorgeous, and also, we can't really get rid of the factory here, because this is where we're getting all of our photovoltaic cells from. I've had so much practice saying that, it's unreal. Speaking of, what? Hello? Why don't we have like literally 30 quadrillion of these? I haven't been here in 90 years. Where's my quartz? Oh my gosh. Where's my quartz? What? In what space time continuum would I have disconnected this? I think I needed those. No, sir. Well, I guess at least we cut it now. Anyway, <laughs> that's beside the point. Uh, we want to make our new coal plant. The new coal plant? Yeah. I've pretty much decided. We're gonna have it built over here. Oh, actually, never mind, never mind, never mind. I had an idea that's gonna be like, I don't know, a billion times better. So instead of ruining the entire look of this lake here, 
Why don't we ruin the entire look of this lake? Wow, good idea, Kibbits. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we can just build the new power plant over here. The lake's already flat, so it's easy to build. We don't have to ruin anything, and we can make a whole new cool looking design. That'd be great. Also, I totally forgot, but we can be adding in these turbines everywhere too. So yeah, we'll add in some water turbines. We'll build the new factory over here. And I guess we'll just bring some coal from down there up here and call it a day. Well, I guess technically speaking, we always call it a day because we have the permadate mod. It's never night. <laughs> That was stupid. But I got a bunch of stuff ready for this factory here. Got the water extractors built, brought over some coal, and got these guys built so we can, yeah, I think get things started. Yeah, about 140 megawatts of power. Not bad to start a power plant. So yeah, we're building on this lake. I've built a bridge across here in case we, I don't know, bring a train through this way at some point. Who knows? And we'll have the majority of the power plant built over top of the lake itself, right over here. And I was running some numbers, running a lot of numbers. And oh my gosh, we have an insane project ahead of us today. Oh boy, literally hundreds of machines we can build with just 260 coal per minute. So you know the setup at our base? That used, you know, 20 coal per minute. And now we can make a setup with 260 coal, so it's gonna be 13 times bigger than that. So we're gonna be making a huge factory and all of the inputs are gonna start from over there and enter in this way, and then we'll just start building up, I suppose, and <laughs> try and fit all the machines we can. This thing, again, it's gonna be huge. And we have to start with these boiler platforms here. And to bounce things out, things are gonna be super simple because we have lucky number 13, and that is just the easiest number to work with in the world. And, and you know, I, I don't even mean it that much. It kind of is a nice number because we can break things down into groups of three and then that gets us to 12. And then for the 13th one, we'll just have that be like an overflow. So one of these boilers won't be working out super well, but you know, most of them will. I'm also looking at this right now and I'm realizing, hmm, this is gonna be pretty big, eh? Oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah, bud. Chonky machines. But that's kind of the price you pay when you get such an efficient system. So now I just gotta belt all the things together, get the water to each of them. Oh yeah, and then bring everything over here. And you know what? My goodness, I'm gonna have to make like a million trips. This stuff takes a lot of items. And we should just really set up a hypertube. You know what would be really nice? If we got ourselves a hypertube booster. Oh yes, we have this mod. About to enter the danger zone, but we need the AI limiters. I, I'm 99% sure we can get those. I think in the ma'am, they're pretty quick to get. Like the medical inhaler I was researching for some reason. But no, if we go into the Caterium tree, oh my, why? Why don't I have this right now? Easy. So let's unlock those boosters. Thank you very much. Spam together a messy little hyper tube here. And start boosting! Oh yeah. Yep. I love the hyper tube boosters. They're so much fun. <laughs> that was gonna make things so much easier. But now let's get back to this. Where we gotta throw on all the boilers on top of these. And I think at this point, it's about time we booped in a little bit of belt work. Oh man, and thank goodness for booping because man, this looks complex and difficult to build. Oh, imagine having to do this by hand and not having the magic of editing. Crazy, right? Yeah, this is as complex as it looks though. Definitely makes sense why this is so, like, powerful as a power source. <laughs> oh my goodness, the pipe work and the shenanigans you have to go through to make this work is insane. So, quick TLDR of what's going on here. All of the water starts over here. I have it run through into these main pipes that go up this way and into the boilers. Another pipe goes over this way, same dealio. Then all of the coal will enter through here. It's a bit of a weird overflow where it all starts there, split in two, goes over to the first row, done skis, goes over to the next row, done skis, and then the runoff goes to this machine at the end. 
And then the outputs are about as complex. Not really though. But we had CO2 and the high pressure steam. So the CO2 on the bottom there goes to the middle of the factory and then ends up going all the way over there to be dealt with later. And then all of the high pressure steam goes to these two walls here. So right there and right there. So on the next floor, we can set up all the turbines and have all the fun in the world. You may have also noticed all the walls that I have going on here. And that's because I was thinking of how this whole design's gonna look. And I think we're gonna have a building that's right here, all encased. We'll have some walkways going through, yada yada. And then we'll have the building kind of extend over the water here. And we'll have kind of like a cross where the first layer goes this way and the next layer goes this way. And aside from that, decoration wise, we're just gonna have like walkways through here. There's so much going on just with the belts and the pipes. Like, <laughs> we don't need to do much to this. We just need to be able to see what's going on half the time. So let's get that next floor built. And yeah, brother, we're gonna have to have a huge floor. Huge. Because we're gonna have to build like 38 turbines up here. Fortunately, we only have a couple pipes of input, so like balancing it won't be too bad. Just yeah, building it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Man. Oh gosh. Thank goodness I built that hypertube though. <laughs> if I didn't have that hypertube for this project, I'd have lost my mind already. I've already had to make like six trips back and forth. It's crazy. All right though. I might still go crazy yet. How much space are we going to really need here? So goodness, 38 such a messy number. How many do we have in a row right now? It's looking like seven. Ah, yes. A much cl more clean number, right? Absolutely. Okay, so seven, 14, 21, 28. Rad. We still need another row plus three. Yeah, and design-wise, this is starting to look real bad. So I think we're gonna have to like double up the floors over here or something. Oh my goodness, and things get even worse. We can't build these turbines this close together because the output's on the left. <laughs> okay, so we have to space things out even more. Yep, okay. You know, earlier in the video, I was saying how this might be a little unbalanced. No, this modular power thing, this is fine. The amount of work being put into this definitely balances out to the amount of power you get. But on a good note, I can already tell this project is gonna end up looking so cool once it's all done, brother. Dude, oh, I can't wait for that. And you know, I gotta admit, it's kind of fun working with these now. I was a little hesitant at first, but having like entrances and exits to like production buildings that are on different sides is kind of unique. Like every other building in the game, it's like goes in the back, comes out the front, goes in the back, goes out the front. It's, it's pretty rudimentary. But with this, you have to like make really unique production lines. And you know, I really hope this is actually added to like the base game. Like not just modular power. I think the modular power idea is really cool too on itself, but just more machines that have different entrances and exits like this because it diversifies building. All right, but you know what would not be a lot of fun? If this didn't work. Oh please, look, that gotta work, right? Oh no, oh no. Round two, round two, what if it's just straight up, hmm? I'm being straight up with you. Please don't do this. Come on. Brother? 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 I'm fine, everything's fine. I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. There's an alternate solution. So all of, oh no. No, 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 wait a second. Wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Is this gonna work? Oh no. Well, that's not gonna work either. I will figure something out here and we will connect things together. It's not gonna be like this, but since we're giving ourselves two floors to make this work, something, something will make do. And yeah, you know, it's quite strangely beautiful. I don't know, it's just different. It was annoying to set up, let me tell you, but whew. And how many do we have on this floor? Well, we have four rows of five, so that's 20. So we're just gonna literally copy this again and make 40. We don't need 40 generators, but it's just gonna look good, so YOLO! And also, wah! That is water, right? Oh my gosh, please, yes? Okay, good. And also, we shrank the floor down, so now it's not gonna look as bad either. 
And after doubling up the floor here, that brings us to the final stage of our power production process. Dealing with the waste. So we have all of this like low pressure steam and we have all the CO2 and we gotta build all of the waste machines. And this is going to be the sketchiest part. I have no idea how much waste like CO2 and steam we're gonna be producing. So yeah, that's pretty spooky. And I don't know how much waste these guys run through. Like, I don't know if we have to make like a hundred of these chimneys or if we need to make like three. These don't show any of the numbers really. It's like a mountain building and then the consumption rate, I am fairly certain, is really just like the rate the machine's working at. It doesn't show like the max or like the minimum. So I don't know. We're just going to take a guess with these and build, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> So you know what, I think we're just gonna make an amount that looks good. Like we're gonna build a roof on this building and we're gonna throw in, I don't know, a bunch of the whatever we need to do's. And then we're gonna have a couple of the steam things, these vents, over here maybe. So we'll have two sections of chimneys. We'll have one section kind of over here. So we'll just have a bunch of the chimneys just out in the front. And we'll try and make this look as good as we possibly can. So we have a couple chimneys up there. That is, <laughs> why they're so small. I hadn't realized how big our factory was getting here. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of these things built around in order to make them look like relatively impressive. So let's do that then. Ooh, or I had the best idea ever here. What if we made this floor glass? And then we could just look down and see all the machines underneath. Oh, that looks so good! Oh, I really, really, really like this. We didn't get to use a lot of glass in our Vanilla Plus playthrough, so I really want to use a lot here. And then we could just have like a balcony or something in the front. So we just put a fence up here, and I'm 99.999% certain this is gonna look really, really good. Oh yeah, bud, I'm vibing with that so much! We could throw like a window on the front of the building. We're gonna have a couple of pipes going up and down as well. Oh, it's gonna look great. I don't think the smokestacks will look good on top, but we do have the space over here and maybe we could throw a few this way. We could have like, oh, well, 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 Mr. Kibitz, is that an idea you have? Yes, it is. Yes, this project has driven me a little insane. Don't mind me, but we could have, oh, no. We could have a floor going this way over top of the other machines, so they're still out in the open. We'll have like a support pillar going down into the water over there, and then we could put a ton of chimneys on this platform up here. That way, we get to see all the busyness of this from afar, and we get to see the smokestacks, and it doesn't ruin our look over here. Wow, it, does that not just solve all problems? You better believe it does. And we got a really cool shape going too. Ho 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 ho! I'm vibing with this, brother. And also check this out. We can make a little floor above the water extractors in the back and do the exact same thing. Oh, and by the way, a good visualization of the pillar idea I'm telling you guys about would be ideal. And what I mean is just adding in like a few miller piddles, just like this. We'll speed some out properly later, and then having them go into the water. So we could have these going down, that adds like a little bit of character and depth. <laughs> There's a water pun in there, but I missed out on it. Or if those don't end up working, we could just spam up a bunch of these foundation frames. So either or, it's gonna work out. Oh, and we got a super bonus here, but we're able to fit each of the cooling platforms right along here. So even numbers, always nice to balance out and they look super nice. So that's cool. These should be easy to do. We have all of the output pipes going in the other direction for like the used steam or low pressure steam going that way. We'll just flip them to going in this direction and into these. And don't think I didn't see that. I saw it. I saw it. Where is my pipe? Uh, there we go. Okay, and it's looking on this other platform that we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we'll have one pipe coming through here. We can put these back to back, of course. 
And we should be able to get, it's looking like 15 in here. But we're gonna hope that that's enough machines or everything's gonna back up when we test this out. Who knows? Who cares? It's gonna look good and that's what matters. Oh man, is it looking good? I almost feel bad now that I haven't tested it yet. But once I got these balconies done, oh, I just was in a creative mood and I added on this little bit of a front thing here too. And I don't know if we'll keep it, but oh, it looks pretty cool. We maybe add a window on it later. I, wait, wait, no, 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 stop, Kims, stop. This is what happened, okay? But we seriously have to turn this thing on, like immediately. <laughs> We don't even know if it works. We don't know if we have enough smokestacks. We don't know nothing. So let's get this belt connected. This is the last thing we need to do before the whole thing gets running. Then we'll just run on through the place and see where it breaks. Because almost certainly things are gonna break. New mod, never used it before. And we built at like extreme scale. Not a good idea. Let's see what happened. All right, there goes the coal. Oh yeah, and of course, this takes a long time to heat up. Okay, and there we go. First bad boy is running. We'll let this thing heat up way super hot. Or not. What? It ran, why is the heat going down? It's getting the same amount of coal. <gasps> no. Is this something with you, brother? No. Why is the output not outputting? Where does it go? Where is the problem Why? How does, what? Goes over here. Oh, now we enter the maze. Welcome to my world. Okay, so is this pipe full? It's omega full. Okay. Well, uh, how much is this, what? What am I supposed to do about this? How much does this export? Is it 50 per minute? Consumption, I, I don't know. Well, let's go further, maybe Maybe it's a problem further out here. So these are the two output lines. This one's filling up slowly with liquid CO2. Don't worry about it. It goes over this way, and then it goes up the building. Yeah, and we've got some pumps in there too, pumping CO2. It's very strange, don't worry about it. And then going up to these. So why, sir? Is it the present? No? This is filling up. Is this filling up? Yeah, they're all tooting every once in a while. I am super confused. It looks like this is handling things even better than expected. Okay, well, good news. I have gone through this whole factory like a thousand times and I have realized the problem is in fact that these pipes are full. We are making way too much CO2 with these Mark I pipes and I've, I've tried breaking them up. I've tried doing a billion different things. But unfortunately, things aren't really running properly. Machines get filled up and everything goes sad. This one's working. This one's full of steam. Okay, and we might have another issue. And yeah, pretty much just too much CO2. I can't measure how much CO2 we are producing either. I've tried to, but it's just not working out. I went online to try and find out an answer like of how much CO2 we are producing couldn't figure that out either, so I, I just don't know. <laughs> so until I find out the answer, we're just gonna leave this thing as is, and we're gonna check on the next floor, because now, why do we have so much steam? Why? We know how much steam this thing produces. This thing produces an amount of steam that I totally remember. 72 high pressure steam. Oh my gosh. Wait, one, two, three. Oh no. 72, and there's nine machines in a row here? No. <laughs> I am starting to go insane. Okay, so a bunch of this pipe work has to be redone too. But that's not gonna be too big of an issue. We can break these into groups of three. So we just scoop you out. You go directly upstairs and we re-pipe like that. I have to say it. I have to say it. This is the most disastrous project I've ever worked on. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I've rerouted as much of the steam as I could, but <laughs> this, this thing's a disaster. It's a total disaster. I just wasn't counting the amount of uh, pressured steam in any of the pipes. 
so nothing balanced properly. I just hooked it up to look pretty, and then of course we turned it on and just... So many problems. So many problems. Like... <laughs> we talked about it earlier, but when we go downstairs and we look at... Like the boilers there, right? The, like the coal heater and the boiler. The boiler can run three different uh, generators upstairs, right? So, three, six, nine. There's nine things here. So, nine generators can be ran upstairs. Except upstairs... Oh my gosh. So, pretty much, I just went, like, zigzagging through the entire system. Like, I bring a pipe up, right? Then it would go through the whole nine yards. So, it would go to here, scoot down this way, and go to another five? I just don't know. I just don't know. To be perfectly honest, I think I pretty much have to tear this entire place down. <laughs> it's just completely, completely messed up. I can't believe I've I've done this. But it looks so cool. It looks so cool. And potentially, with like, what are, what is it? The 39, 38-ish uh, power generators, we theoretically could get like 7,000 power. And how close to the mark did we get with all the inefficiencies? We're about a thousand megawatts short because of all the things I goofed up on. But that could probably go up to about 6,000 if we can get rid of the carbon dioxide. So later on, once we get tier <laughs> two pipes, we'll be able to upgrade the carbon dioxide pipes. We'll be able to get rid of that out of the system. And then this should actually run almost to its potential. But you know, if we strictly go by the rule of cool, I think we did a really good job here. Only thing that still needs to be done is we need like a coat of paint on this. Not like actual paint, but just a little bit of detailing, a little detailing run. This place will look awesome. And then I won't be as upset about how garbage it is. <laughs> so just give me a quick moment here. And now we can actually live with it. Just adding a couple windows on the front, making the top box kind of silvery. I think that adds a lot, and at least we can stand to look at it. And all things considered, this is making like a lot of power over double our power grid that we already have. So, let's see what we're at now with both our power plants. How do we connect this? You to you. And where are we at, brother? Well, we went from 3,500 capacity to... 8,500 capacity. So, you know, about 5,000 megawatts, exactly what we saw. Pretty good. Pretty dang good, brother. Man, oh man, I have had enough with these Mark III belts and stuff. Dude, we gotta get into oil tech. We gotta get into the spicier memes. However, though, that's gonna be all here. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.